And here we got a uh, tag team match between two of the team, great teams here in ICW, the Mercenaries and the Dream Lovers. And here with me is Magic Mike. Hi, everybody in ICW land. This should be a great tag team matchup. We got the Mercenaries in the ring. They're, they're a hot, young tag team, and we're excited for them to be here in ICW. Yeah, you can't, can't put it past the Dream Lovers either. These are uh, two teams, the uh, anti-hero league, better watch out for. They're our current ICW tag champs, and uh, these two teams are uh, trying to impress and see if they can get a shot at that title in the near future. The anti-hero league will wipe the floor with these hippie-loving whatever they are. Anyway, back to the mercenaries. But you can't put it past, so, you know, as commissioner, I only have, I only want the best teams here, and I saw something. Here we go with this, with attack. The mercenaries attacking from behind. That's exactly what they need to do. Go ahead and end it quick. They're, they're taking it right to them, but it looks like uh, they're fighting back. Vicious clothesline there on Money Man Mike Deal. Yeah, the mercenaries need to call a timeout on this one. Regroup. They'll get their act together, I promise you. Okay, they're out there regrouping now, and uh, looks like the Dream Lovers are in control now. I told you, I see something in this team. Well, you can see whatever you want to see, but I'm trying to tell you, the mercenaries, they're the team that the anti-hero leaves. Oh, there it is! Got caught off guard there by the Dream. They were too busy uh, trying to regroup outside, and the Dream Lovers caught them with a, uh, a nice, spl uh, nice splash out the, through the ring. What kind of name is the Dream Lovers anyway? They shouldn't even be able to be in the ring with the mercenaries. I went back. We, all I know is in a, before they came out, I saw the pillow of smoke come from the back room, so I don't know what they were dreaming about loving. Well, I can tell you this. They never dreamed of how this match is actually going to turn out, but it, it'll turn into a nightmare for them real soon. As, as some of these, as your fans know, uh, J. Marcus Lawson, he's been here for a while, and he's taken uh, me, Mark Edge, to the limit. Now that he's in the tag team division, I only see good things for them. But as, you, as I said, the Dream Lovers, uh, they're no slouches either. Dream Lovers, Dream Weavers, Dream Catchers, whatever they are, they have their work cut out for them tonight. This is going to be a nice uh, tag team match between two of the up-and-comers here. But it looks like uh, the Dream Lovers have a little bit of advantage here. Backing them in, sending them into the ropes. Vicious shoulder block. Here he goes. Step over. Let's go. Uh-oh. Hip toss. That that didn't look too good for the mercenaries there. It's nice to see. Uh, oh, vicious slam. High impact on that one. The mercenaries better get their act together. Maybe these dream weavers, catchers, or whatever. Oh, showboat a little bit. To hope the uh, the mercenaries aren't looking past these guys because they're a new team. I said, got a quick t got a quick two count. I thought it might have been over there, but uh, maybe the mercenaries, you never know, could have looked past. Maybe looking at a future shot at the AHL. And that happens to a lot of young teams. They need to get their heads on straight and, and start focusing on the dream catchers here. Or else it's going to be a short night and a short paycheck for them. There you go. Nice tilt the world head scissors. Come right out of the corner. Nice drop kick right there. They're, they're getting in stride right now. Oh, I know his, uh, the mercenaries are finally picking it up. But uh, I know there's one team that's uh, been calling and talking and wanting to get a shot at uh, J. Marcus Lawson and his partner. That was uh, East Coast Bodily Harm because there's a, a history between East Coast Bodily Harm and J. Marcus Lawson. Well, we'll be looking for East Coast Bodily Harm to come back to ICW real soon. But the fact of the matter is the mercenaries are here, and it looks like they're finally taking control of this match. And the Anti-Hero League better watch out because this team is up and coming. Yeah, they're, they're young. They got this. It looks like the speed and the strength. I mean, it's just a complete team. And uh, you know, we can't we can't talk about tag team wrestling with uh, talking about unfortunately the the recent passing of one of the greatest tag team men of all time, Road Warrior Hawk, and uh, you know, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And he'll sadly be missed. And everyone in ICW wishes his family the uh, the best and sends our condolences. Yeah, Road Warrior Hawk was a major major influence over me in the early 80s with with that tag team the legion of doom very fond members of them in raleigh and wilmington they will so sorely be missed the great tag team but speaking of great tag teams here you got the mercenaries here these these young guns they're vicious rich chops in the corner 
I'm telling you, they're doing exactly what they need to do. They're cutting the ring in half, using everything to their advantage. The five count from the ref. They have cut this ring off now, and they've got this young dream catcher in a pretty tough spot. All I know is uh, Charlie Dreamer looks like he's dreaming about he was in a different match. Well, by the time this match is over, it'll be a nightmare and not a good dream, that's for sure. Yeah, look at this. He's, he's tying him up in some sort of pretzel. Oh, that looks painful. Got his arm trapped in there, almost like a scorpion death lock, but he hasn't stepped over with it yet. That hurts me just looking at it from up here. He's got the arm wrapped in with the legs. And it's just completely, but he let him go. He, if, I think if he held it out, maybe uh, Dreamer would attack. Well, I think they're just wanting to dish out some more pain, a little more punishment. These mercenaries are mean. That's all they want to do is dish out punishment, and at the very end, send the opponent home black and blue. Most importantly, have them remembering their names. I know what you're saying. One of our last shows, the mercenaries are mad. Even though they won it, they didn't get to beat up people more. Well, this is very true. It's like the Andersons of old with the four horsemen. They didn't enjoy winning unless they got to beat people to death. See, when you fight the mercenaries, you have to earn it. But we got a quick count here. Dreamer kicks out, but he's rubbing the arm right across the face, grating it right across the nose. Every tactic they're doing right now is by the book, legal. Nice snapmare there. Ow! Oh, that's going to hurt. He better call a chiropractor in the morning. You heard that kick up here and a sit-out drop kick right into the open face. He going for quick. I thought he had him there, but Dreamer, Dreamer's resilient. He's kicking out. Yeah. He's uh, bouncing back from everything the mercenaries are throwing at him. But, ooh, look at that. That was an insult right there. But the mercenaries, they're uh, dishing it out pretty good. The dream catchers better come up with something pretty fast <laughs> if they think they're going to uh, pull something out here. Oh, nice DDT right there. The mercenary, I think we're taking him a little uh, a little lightly there. And you got Dr. Love out here who hasn't been in the ring yet. He's fresh. If Dreamer tags in, uh, dra tags him in, it's a whole new ball game. Yeah. This should be interesting right here to see if Dr. Love can get in there and change the tide of this match. If he If he does get in the ring, the pace will quicken. He's a fresh man. They, you know, the mercenary has been tagging in and out, but Dr. Love hasn't been in once. So, you know, oh, we got to tag a Dr. Love. I, he's cleaning house. Big roundhouse punches right there. Got the mercenaries falling all over themselves. Dr. Love is on fire. Oh, nice spear by Dreamweaver. He's got a nice kick here. Oh, nice. Nice double arm under the hook suplex. Quick count. Oh, two. Check out. The mercenaries aren't going to go down that quick, but Dr. Love, the we freshman. we got action everywhere. we got Weaver and one of the mercenaries up here fighting on the floor. And we got a low blow by J. Marcus Lawson, but we got, to, we got this is pandemonium. The ref needs to take control. The ref has lost control of this match. That's for sure. Marcus Lawson with a series of snap suplexes here. That's two. Another float over. He's trying for three, and he got it. Dr. Love is now in need of a doctor himself. Oh, I don't know if you saw, but Money Man Chris Steele just posted Charlie Dreamer outside. He, he, Charlie Dreamer's out, and this, this in the ring, both men are down from the impact of those suplexes. Be interesting to see who gets up first and gets the advantage. Dreamer is definitely on Dream Street. There's a boot by J. Marcus Lawson. Oh, a nice running DDT. That should do it right there. Cover him. Uh-oh. Chris Steele's money man's up here. Son nice frog splash right into the ring. Got one, two, three. It's over. The dream lovers are on Dream Street. I told you the mercenaries are on the top of their game. They're the next tag team that's going to challenge the Anti-Hero League as long as they keep this up right here. As Commissioner, I hope you got enough foresight to see that they're one of the best up-and-coming tag teams in the business. They're up-and-coming, but they're going to have to face a couple more battles before I give them that title shot. And I, as I've been getting called, East Coast Bodily Harm wants a piece of J. Marcus Lawson. Well, as we can see by this match right here, they are more than up for the task of handling East Coast bodily harm. We'll be back, fans.